Hi there, this is Pastor Carl. And Wesley. And we are going to be making edible cookie dough today for today's delicious devotional. We hope you'll join us. Now the thing about edible cookie dough is most people think that you can just throw everything in it except for the eggs. And that is one thing, but you do need to actually bake some of your flour to start out with first. Because the flour, uh, when it's raw, it can have bacteria, it can have contaminants in it. And we just want to take about two and a quarter cups of flour and put it on a tray and bake it at 350 for about 10 minutes just to make sure it's sterile. All right, and so we'll take the flour, we're just gonna spread it as evenly as we can over top of our tray, and we'll pop it in this uh, oven for a few minutes. Just toast it up a little bit. All right, now we are going to make all our grandmas proud, and we are gonna put some unsalted butter, and we are going to actually melt this down a little bit in the microwave, not to where it's all the way melted, but just to where it's uh, really nice and soft and easy to work with for when we start mixing in a few minutes. All right, so after about a minute in a 40% cooking microwave, we got some butter that isn't melted, but it's definitely room temperature, and it's gonna be a lot easier to work with when it's time to stir. Next, we're gonna add one and a half cups of brown sugar usually, or if you're me and you forgot brown sugar, you can add white sugar. Really brown sugar, it's just regular white sugar with some molasses added. And since I don't have any molasses to add to it, we are going to go with white sugar. It shouldn't mess up the recipe, but if you're at home, you're going to want to use brown sugar. Then on top of that, we're going to take our butter that we put through the microwave, and we're just going to stick it in here. And after that, we'll add two tablespoons of vanilla. Two. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of whole milk to the party. One. Two. Good job. All right, before this flour is done, we're going to mix this up just to combine everything and prepare it for the flour. After this, we're going to add just a teaspoon of salt after we get this nice smooth mixture going on. And we're going to mix it a little bit more. So as I was making the cookies today, these no-bake cookies, I started to think about the way that uh, sometimes we just don't feel like we have everything we need and we feel like we're at a disadvantage. And I think in Christ, even something that seems like a disadvantage, like feeling like we don't have enough, um, we see that God can find a way. I'm, I'm reminded this week of uh, this... Uh, way that Jesus heals a man a few times in the Gospels. Uh, in Mark chapter 8, we hear, we hear about Jesus healing this man at Bethsaida, and this is what's written in chapter 8, verses 20 through, 20 through 26. They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I, I see people. They, they look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home saying, don't even go into the village. So in this, in this passage here, this is, this is just fascinating. All Jesus has at his disposal is some spit I, I, I try to imagine this whole scene in my head and just somebody being absolutely disgusted by Jesus trying to heal him in this way. Maybe it was the norm back then, but to hear this, to hear him just using his own spit in order to heal this person in this way is incredible. Sometimes we feel like we're out of the things we need. We might feel like uh, our life is out of brown sugar or like we have to crush up some... Uh, Valentine's Day candy in order to make the chocolate chips for cookies. The thing is that God can still make a way in life. Just because we feel like we're at a disadvantage does not mean that God isn't with us or that God won't take care of us. In, in these times, we need to be reaching out to God and continue reaching out to God more and more as we feel like 
a lot of our plans right now and a lot of our hope for the future at best is half baked or not really baked at all. Let's see how these cookies finish up. All right, now that our flour is in here, we are just gonna mix all this together and see what kind of edible cookie dough we come out with. Now for our last ingredient, um, just find your most recent uh, Easter Bunny candy or your leftover Valentine's candy that you haven't touched that's uh, solid chocolate or something and just pulverize it if you want to. If you don't want to pulverize it, uh, just get about two cups of chocolate chips or so and then you can go to town just filling this baby up and what we end up with here is our leftover Easter cookies and Xandra's very excited, aren't you? All right. Here we go. All right, you'll see that uh, our chocolate chip cookie is done. That uh, pulverized chocolate, uh, the dust in it, turned into a little bit more of uh, some chocolate cookie here with some chocolate chips added. And so Wesley is ready to try it. Are you ready to try it? Uh-huh. All right, tell us what you think. Cool. How is it? It's really good. 